Hey everyone, welcome to the Mojito channel. It is time for a new news and politics video. I haven't done one of these in a while. And the reason I'm doing this one is because of the yellow jacket, the yellow vests, the, you know, les gilets jaunes. A lot of people are asking me about them recently, like a lot. And uh, I understand. You want to know who they are, really? What do they want? And what's my opinion on them? So I will try my best, and this is probably going to be a bit long because there's a lot to say, because it's a complicated, complex issue. But yeah, I'm going to try to do my best to explain to you what is going on, who are they, what do they want, and what is my opinion on them. So, the basics, who are they? Uh, in terms of age, they're mostly middle-aged people. Uh, mostly, uh, a lot of uh, people from Generation X, especially. Uh, they're uh, mostly people from the lower middle class. Or, uh, they're not really poor people, but they're people who are, you know, not rich. And... Um, they're, uh, for the majority, people who don't have a, a lot of education as the academic uh, form, you know, um, the, the majority of them have no diploma. And um, they come a lot from suburbs. It's uh, the most represented um, geographic group. It's not, not a lot of people from the countryside, contrary uh, to what was said in the beginning, and not a lot of people from inner cities. It's mostly uh, suburbs. And, um, and politically, mostly from the far right or hardline right wing, two thirds of them are uh, hardline right or far right. About a quarter of them are uh, communists, about, about 25%, and then it's scattered and there are almost uh, no centrists. But it's mostly a, a movement of uh, the uh, extremes politically, and uh, anyone who doesn't believe uh, in the horseshoe theory should come in France and see it in full effect, because it's really the far right and the far left against the center. If I had to compare them to another political movement, I know that uh, a lot of my viewers are from the US and uh, American politics in general are pretty famous around the world. So if I had to compare them to another political movement, it would be uh, the Tea Party from about 10 years ago in the US that was started um, basically against President Obama and uh, there are a lot of similarities between the Tea Party Republicans and the Yellow Vests. A lot of similarities, even if it's not exactly the same thing. Uh, what do they want? Clearly, there is one thing that most of them want. It's lower taxes. This has been the number one thing that they've been asking for since the beginning. Uh, of course, they, it's a really grassroots movement. A lot of them come from completely different backgrounds, so they don't all want the same thing. That's one of the problems of the movement uh, and one of the reasons why uh, a lot of people don't really understand what it's about. It's because they themselves don't really understand what it's about. It's a movement that has no leader. It's a movement that has basically no organization and it started uh, on Facebook and uh, yeah, it has been uh, basically uh, run by, you know, Facebook posts and uh, stuff like that. And yeah, the number one thing that they want is lower taxes. That has been their, uh, the, the, their main thing. And uh, after that, um, one thing that they've been asked, that they've been asking a lot is a better uh, representation uh, politically uh, because well a lot of them uh, f uh, feel that they're disconnected from the power and that the power is disconnected from them actually uh, according to a recent poll 80 percent of french people not just the yellow jackets but everyone 80 percent of french people feel like uh, the government doesn't 
properly represent them and doesn't care about them. Actually, it's, it's yeah, 80% of the people feel like the government don't care, don't really care about them. And uh, 36, 36% of uh, French people are now against democracy and feel like it doesn't work anymore and we should have a better system. Um, before the uh, election of Emmanuel Macron, the current president, it was only 25%, which is still a huge number, but right now one French person out of three is against democracy and would want something different. It stems from a lot of things uh, and it's, you know, it's really understandable because there, ha there has been a lot uh, of gerrymandering in, in France, uh, basically gerrymandering, it's not, not always exactly that, but yeah, and it has been getting worse and worse in the past few years, and um, a lot of um, representatives uh, don't come from the parties uh, that had the most votes, because yeah, the way that our Congress is made is kind of complicated and involves a lot of rules, so the, um, the most representatives don't always come from the biggest uh, parties in terms of votes, and uh, a lot of parties, won basically when a lot of parties have won the popular vote, but get uh, almost no Congress people, and uh, because of that, there's um, yeah, and it gets worse and worse every year. And because of that, there's a lot of you know feeling that uh, the represent the government doesn't represent us, and uh, there's a lot of fighting between the local um, elected people like mayors and and people at the top uh, of the, the power uh, pyramid. And, and a lot of people uh, are you know have problems against this. They feel like people, they, the government don't listen to them. They feel uh, like uh, they don't care about them. And uh, it's a thing that has been, um, you know, coming up a lot in the past uh, debates about this and in the revendications of the yellow vests. Uh, they won't. Uh, I've, I've even seen some. A lot of them. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like an asshole, but a lot of them sound like uh, you know the nagging wife in old sitcoms. You know, a lot of a lot of them say, say that they want more consideration, that they want uh, uh, to be listened more, that they uh, that they want to be loved, that they want to be feel like they're important. You know, they want uh, you know more attention, and uh, it's it's a bit weird. To see uh, like a gr grown men ask that shit from political uh, el elected representatives, but uh, yeah, it's it's it has been really a lot of people uh, in the yellow vests say that they are disenchanted and that they would like to feel enchanted again. Quite a lot of them ask for more purchasing power. It's a lot about uh, money and about political representation. It's, it's, it's basically um, only this, you know, economic. It's the economy, stupid. They represent uh, quite a small portion of the, of the people, but they have a lot of uh, support in the polls. A lot of people say that they uh, don't consider themselves part of the movement, but that they, that they understand the yellow vests and uh, that they don't blame them even for their acts of violence. Nine uh, dead so far uh, in the riots. I mean, riots. It's not really riots, but it's almost uh, as bad as riots. It's uh, strong protesting. Even if um, it's less and less each uh, time and that their numbers seemed to be dwindling uh, for uh, one reason, it's that um, a lot of people that now um, have, you know, kind of put themselves um, as, you know, the, uh, the official uh, representatives of the movement uh, without any legitimacy, of course, because it's a movement which has no leader and uh, no uh, organization officially, but some of them uh, wanted to, you know, be the voice of the Yellow Vest, and uh, uh, we've seen a bunch of them on TV, and um, yeah, um, they don't uh, always agree on things, and that is why their, uh, their numbers seem to be uh, diminishing um, every week. Um, it's because, you know, uh, the more precise it becomes, and uh, the more
or people are starting to distance themselves from it. Um, and a, a lot of the yellow vests are um, have been really vocal uh, against immigrants and uh, against Muslims, and uh, you know. Uh, this has made a lot of the left wing of the movement uh, go back and um, drop in, in numbers, uh, which, um, which kind of explains uh, why the movement is, seems to be more and more uh, right wing uh, each day, uh, because the, the people from uh, the, the, the far right uh, the leaders of opinion like Marine Le Pen or uh, the leader of the hardline right wing uh, Laurent Vauquier uh, have no clay, have no qualms in supporting them, but the leaders of the left uh, are a bit more iffy about it uh, because there are so many uh, right wingers and because there are, oh, some of them are frankly you know racist and, and stuff like that. I'm not saying all of them are, but a significant proportion, uh, a significant portion of them clearly are. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people on the left have issues with that. A lot of things that the yellow vests are rebelling against um, are kind of unavoidable, like globalism, for example, uh, given the the way things have been going on, there's not really a way out of it. This movement is so grassroots and so it is organized that, yeah, they they don't really have a proper voice because they they are a million different uh, voices, all wanting something slightly different and sometimes really different from each other. The biggest group though, seems to be from the lower middle class, people who are uh, teachers, there are cops, there are nurses, uh, and also there are a lot, a lot of small business owners. Uh, people who are, you know, owners of a hair salon or, or a bakery or a, a, a deli, stuff like that. And um, it's kind of... Um, people who are somehow uh, in the in the anger stages of grief you know the, you know the five stages of grief from uh, Elizabeth Kubler Ross and they're kind of in the oh, in the anger phase um, mourning the death of our American dream uh, it's a lot of people who are you know, lower middle class, and they're not afraid of becoming poor, if you listen to a lot of these yellow vests, they're afraid of not being able to become rich and uh, have their situation stagnate uh, and stay the same for their, for their whole life. Stagnation is a word that we've been hearing a lot uh, recently uh, in the mouth of the yellow vests. They are complaining that uh, they keep earning the same amount of money and it's not always indexed on inflation. But um, most of them somehow don't blame it on their boss because a lot of them are their own boss and uh, it's hard to ask for a raise if you are the CEO. Uh, but um, yeah, a, a lot of them blame it more on the state and, and more specifically the taxes. In my opinion, it's a clash of ideologies uh, of um, the American ideology that has been fed to us through the ubiquitous uh, American media, uh, all these American TV shows, all these American movies that we have in our, in our theaters, all these American songs that are in our radios, that are clash with the, um, the French spirit, you know, and it's kind of the old world vs the new world and uh, it's what I've been uh, getting from it. Uh, it's people who want to believe in the American dream, uh, despite the fact that we're in Europe, and despite the fact that the American dream has been shown not to work. But Emmanuel Macron uh, has been kind of elected um, talking about uh, the, the, the American dream, and one, it, it was one of his biggest uh, campaign promises. Uh, he said that I, I want to enable people 
who wants to uh, work hard to become rich. He, he loved the startups. He talked about the startups all the time and, you know, the small entrepreneurs, the small business owners. Uh, he'd say that he wanted to make them rich. Uh, but uh, after 18 months, it's uh, not really happening. And um, actually, uh, he cut taxes for the really rich people and uh, he did also uh, give some uh, benefits for the really poor people but the middle class have been kind of forgotten and that's why they are so angry uh, because they are afraid uh, a lot of them of being middle class their whole life and you know their parents um, have evolved socially and economically throughout their lives and they realize that it may not be the case for them and um, it makes them really really pissed off uh, so that's a that's a lot of uh, the the anger and resentment uh, it's against stagnation they're really angry against experts that that also has been a thing that uh, has been uh, said a lot they, they hate experts and there are good reasons for it and you know there there has some sh there has been some shady history of expertise and, and science um, in France when it's mixed with politics um, I remember I, I, didn't re I don't remember because I was not born yet but uh, in April of 1986 when there was the, the Chernobyl disaster and a toxic irradi radiation cloud uh, spread across all of Europe. You had experts on TV uh, for, uh, mandated from the government who say, don't worry, the, the radiation cloud uh, will, uh, has stopped at the French uh, border. It didn't cross the, 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 the toxic cloud, did not cross the border. Uh, it has stayed a kind of a meme in the, the, the French collective consciousness. And uh, it, it is one of the things that we, we all carry in the back of our minds and that over the time build anger and resentment against uh, experts and scientists and politics. And it's one of the reasons why so many people uh, in France are kind of anti-science. You know, in the Yellow Vest crowd, there is quite a lot of anti-vaxxers uh, who have been asking for the end of mandatory vaccinations. And there are a lot of people who are like anti-GMO, uh, anti, uh, you know, a lot of stuff like that, uh, anti-electric cars. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's kind of a big thing uh, in, in France to be uh, against science and against technology. And... Um, it's kind of a it's, it's kind of a French spirit. I've always seen it uh, my whole life. I know so many people who are really dull, full, full of doubt and skepticism against uh, uh, doctors, against uh, you know scientists, against tech companies, and sometimes for good reasons. And the, the problem is that the 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 elite uh, have given them reason a bunch of time uh, and uh, that, that's, uh, that has conferred them in their positions and uh, because of that there is, yeah, and um, there is kind of an obscurantism that has built, uh, that has, you know, uh, erected itself uh, against the, uh, the uh, elite uh, that is perceived to be uh, condescending against the real people and, uh, you know, uh, just a bunch of liars that's why some stuff like homeopathy uh, is so popular in france despite having been debunked a shit ton of times and uh, it's it's really popular here uh, you got the anti-vaxxers gaining traction especially with the yellow vest thing since uh, there's a lot of them in there and um yeah yeah a lot of people who are like against gmos and um, against you know uh, big pharma and big tech and the big data um, and um, also, technology uh, has changed how the economy works. There are less middle-class jobs every year, but the, the bottom of the barrel jobs, you know, the, that don't pay a lot, and the, the high-end jobs that, that pay a lot um, have been growing. And because of that, despite of our social policies, you know, we have social policies in place 
to counter to counter the effects of that. And uh, so uh, the, the the difference between the rich and the poor has been um, not increasing, but staying the same for the past 30, 40 years. Uh, it, it has kind of started uh, in the beginning of the 80s and uh, it has not changed a lot since then. There is also another problem, and that the, the problem of the, the suburbs, uh, which have been, you know, uh, kind of made fun of for a, for a long time, and also a lot of people are afraid of it. Um, there, there are no really no-go zones, but it has been a rumor for a while, and. Uh, a lot of uh, foreign media has picked up on it to make to make fun of us, but uh, a lot of people f feel that uh, it's real, and uh, a lot of people from the suburbs feel like nobody cares about them. Ninety-two percent of people in France live in cities, and eight percent in the countryside uh, currently. And um, there's been a lot of stuff lately um, to uh, you know subsidies to the farmers and uh, help to the people who live in isolated countryside uh, towns with new and better train tracks, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, and also there's been also a lot of, of uh, uh, money uh, injected uh, lately in uh, the big cities, Paris, Lyon, Marseille especially, but also other ones like Strasbourg, um, uh, and uh, to, you know, to kind of reverse uh, the thing that had been done and uh, lately our, our politics felt like we didn't uh, concentrate enough on the, the big cities. So uh, in the past few years there has been a lot of economic effort toward making the big cities even even better, you know, with, with more schools, more universities, more museums, more stuff like that, a, a lot of stuff that stimulates the economy, more stuff for the tourists. Uh, uh, France is a big destination for tourism, the biggest in Europe and one of the uh, the biggest in the world. And, um, and because of that, uh, the, the people who are not really in the countryside, but not really in the big cities, have been kind of forgotten and uh, their situation uh, has been not great for a long time and there's a lot of them uh, in the Yellow Vests. Uh, the, the guy who started the Yellow Vest movement on Facebook is from uh, the, the Paris suburbs but not close to the city quite uh, quite far but not quite in the countryside yet you know and it's that uh, a, a lot of people live there now in the, in, uh, in suburbs and uh, yeah, they, they feel like nobody gives a shit about them, and uh, especially the government, and they're really angry um, because of that. So this has fueled uh, the movement quite a lot. And what else? Because th there is more. I gotta keep going on because there's more, because it's a really complex movement with a lot of different people and a lot of different stuff happening in there. In my opinion, they won't really get what they want because it's old world versus new world. It's, you know, the, the economy of new technologies. A lot of them hate Amazon, for example, uh, and uh, they, uh, they hate uh, supermarkets and they want only small mom and pop shops. They, they want uh, less money for the supermarkets and more for the small businesses. It's probably not gonna happen because of how the economy works and because of how it has been going on uh, for, a, for a while. Uh, and... Um, there is one thing that they've been asking a lot, it's more referendums, uh, it's a thing that they call the uh, RIC, uh, RIC for um, uh, citizen, citizen uh, initiative referendum, uh, when people uh, want to change something, uh, they uh, they can uh, ask uh, the government to organize a referendum uh, so they can vote directly instead of the representation because they don't believe in representation anymore because of a lot of stuff that has been happening lately um, which is kind of weird because uh, recently uh, it's, it's not really recently but it was a few years ago uh, there was a big referendum organized uh, where the French people uh, could vote on the treaty for the European Constitution, for the Constitution of the European Union, and uh, we voted no. We voted against it because it was a, it was quite bad, frankly. 
and a lot of people who voted no, by the way, were from the far right or from the far left. So uh, it's kind of the, the the same. You see in people who voted against this treaty the same kind of population and the same kind of mindset that is in the yellow jackets uh, uh, right now. And um, uh, yeah, despite the fact that we voted no at the referendum, uh, they uh, passed it anyway. They said uh, the people voted wrong and uh, we were mistaken and uh, we didn't really understand what was going on and we didn't, didn't really understand the treaty, so they passed it anyway despite the people, uh, despite the, the no uh, winning at the referendum. And uh, that has been one of the things that made a lot of people angry and for that's absolutely understandable there's nothing against that and so a lot of people want referendums but there's no indications that this will work uh but uh you know and of course there's a lot of people uh on the far right who've been asking uh, about these referendums for a long time because they want uh, what they what do they want uh, most of them is the the capital punishment to come back despite it being illegal in France for a very long time and it's it has been illegal in most of the world actually almost no countries right now have a, a capital punishment ex except uh, a, few, in the, a few countries in the Middle East um, and in Africa and maybe the United States I think uh, but you know the really religious countries um, it's um, it's it, Capital punishment is kind of a religious thing if you think about it. But this this is a digression that I'm not going to do today. A lot of them want, you know, the end of gay marriage, for example. Uh, this is a thing that I've been hearing a lot, uh, and they want, uh, you know. Uh, um, a lot of uh, recent uh, Muslims, refugees, uh, to be kicked out of the country, uh, stuff like that, and they hope that with the referendum it will be easier to make this pass, which probably won't happen, even if the referendum is uh, put in place. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a hot button, uh, it's, um, it's a gangbang of hot button issues this yellow jacket thing. That's what people are so angry. It's, it's, it's a lot of hot button issues binding up on each other. And um, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people have been, uh, a lot of people in the, the yellow vest movement have been saying uh, nasty stuff about Amazon, about Monsanto, about Google, Facebook, uh, despite the fact that this movement started on Facebook and is organized basically uh, via Facebook all the time. And, um, yeah, it's, in my opinion, it's a, it's a movement that stems from the Americanization of the mentalities that is caused uh, of, for, by, that is caused by the um, ubiquitousness of American media here. Uh, the, the, all these American movies uh, that we have in our theaters, the majority of our, the programs on our TV channels are from U the US, and uh, uh, almost of the majority of the music that is listened here comes from the US too. And for example, you really see that uh, because of the overwhelming amount of people who use the term credit card. Despite the fact that credit cards have been Ill basically illegal here for uh, decades, and that they're because they're considered as a giant scam, and it's basically no one here has a credit card. It's basically impossible to have a credit card. All, all people have are debit cards, but so many people use the term credit card despite of that. Uh, in, 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 in shops, you know, you see it all the time. Uh, do you pay by cash or credit? Oh, you have to pay by cash today. Our credit machine, our credit card machine is broken. You know, I, I hear that all the time. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I prefer paying by credit card uh, because uh, there are less coins in my wallet. And they've heard this in on, on TV. They've heard this on, on TV because they can't have heard this uh, at their bank or, you know, it's stuff that they have, they've, they've heard on, on TV or, or in, in, in American movies. And uh, it's, in my opinion, uh, uh, one of the things that really show that uh, a lot of mentalities have been uh, Americanized. And um, that's why this yellow jacket thing reminds me so much of the Tea Party uh, that started in the US about 10 years ago. And 
that's why it's a weird um, thing. You know, you, you see a lot of them, uh, people who said, um, I remember I saw an interview of uh, uh, Yellow Vest a few a few days ago, and this guy said, uh, you know, uh, I want to keep uh, buying uh, Levis jeans uh, and Nike shoes uh, and uh, watching uh, Netflix uh, and um, you know, uh, what what else did he say? Ah, uh, oh, yeah, uh, 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 eating at McDonald's uh, whenever I want. This guy was so in love with Nike. Uh, Levis, McDonald's, Starbucks, and uh, he say, I want to uh, be uh, able to uh, uh, buy all the things uh, uh, without, uh, you know, uh, uh, my uh, bills having being difficult to pay. Uh, uh, and uh, it's um, it seems to be a, a, a dominant um, sentiment uh, in the yellow vest movement, and. Uh, they uh, probably thought that uh, Macron um, would help them because he's a firm believer in the, the American dream. He said it a bunch of times during his campaign, and also he's a, also a, a firm believer in a in a, another typically American thing that doesn't work. Uh, that is called trickle-down economics. Basically, you give tax cuts to the really rich and uh, in, in the hope that they re-inject it uh, in the economy by investing and by, uh, you know, paying their employees more. And uh, it never happens and it never works, but uh, he really, really believes in trickle-down economics. He, he said it a bunch of times. He said it so often that he became a meme in France. And... Um, yeah, it's um, it's that it's that a lot. It's a movement that seems uh, misguided uh, because it is because it's a lot of people uh, a lot of people who are in the yellow vest uh, movement don't watch the news often. And they're usually not interested in politics, and most of them uh, have no diploma. Uh, so it's uh, it's really a revolt of the uneducated and uh, against the elite. Uh, but uh, you know the reason why why, why the the elite um, does and says certain thing is because they, they understand the world better. It's uh, it's it sounds patronizing and it sounds condescending, and I'm sorry to be like that because I, I really wish. I really wish I didn't say it uh, like that, but it, 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 it's really, you know, it's a thing that they've been complaining a lot about, the, uh, the condescending uh, nature of the, uh, and uh, the condescending attitude of, of the government and of the elites against them. But there's kind of a reason for that, sadly. Uh, it's, because, it's that the new economy is complicated and uh, the politics uh, of nowadays are complicated and that you kind of need to put the time uh, to understand them. You need a lot of knowledge and you need... Uh, you don't really need to be clever, but you need to be educated and you need to know a lot uh, and you know you need to understand math and economic and 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 uh, a lot of people believe that it's bullshit especially in the yellow vest movement uh, and there's one good reason for that it's because our top experts in economy weren't um, uh, able to prevent or to even, you know, foresee the 208 economic crisis that has been hitting us quite hard. And um, they haven't really been uh, able to fix it. It's still going on. Uh, it's it, it doesn't feel like it's getting better. Uh, the... The transition to the uh, unique uh, money of the European Union, the euro, also uh, uh, is a big uh, point of resentment from uh, a lot of the people, especially on the far right. Uh, and they feel like we've been uh, we've been had. They feel like it was a, a scam, uh, the euro. And uh, there are, you know, 
it's of course not true but there is some truth to it i don't know how it will finish uh, the government has been uh, saying some stuff to them uh, a lot of them sadly have been uh, fooled by our uh, government uh, in the past uh, there has been some strong incentives to buy uh, houses for people in the in the past uh, few decades and a lot of people found that they couldn't buy in the cities so they had to buy in suburbs but it's complicated for them because their their public transport in the suburbs is not very good uh, compared to uh, real cities real cities yeah i i talk like a asshole city slicker uh, but um, uh, yeah i spend i spend most of my life living in the countryside but um, living in Paris has made me kind of an asshole and I, I, I regret it I regret this but um, yeah um, a lot of people also have been kind of scammed into buying diesel cars a lot of people told them a lot of people a lot, a lot of experts in uh, science and economy and politics have told them a lot of them mandat mandated from the government to buy diesel cars that it was a car of the future that it consumed less fuel and now diesel cars are are being heavily taxed uh, because they are um, uh, they pollute a lot they're not friendly to the environment and it's also a, a thing in the yellow vest movement a lot of them feel like uh, the government cares too much about the environment and not enough about the people and especially the people's wallets and uh, yeah 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 uh, they they um they feel like their taxes are not being properly uh, used it's a thing. It's an important thing that I, I missed uh, to say, but it is a big thing. Uh, and yeah, they feel like a lot of uh, people who uh, they, a lot of the yellow vests are actually against uh, welfare, despite uh, some of them being, uh, um, uh, you know, in a, in a job where they uh, earn minimum wage. Um, they are uh, a lot of them are against welfare they feel like people who earn welfare don't deserve it and that's another uh, thing of what i say old world versus new world because they are attached to antiquated uh, notions like the opposition of work and capital and uh, meritocracy and another, another uh, american stuff that has been debunked a shit ton of times doesn't really you know work in real life sadly uh but um yeah uh, which weirdly uh at, at first uh glance but when you understand the movement you get it they are against this uh thing that a lot of governments have been proposing lately which is um giving everyone uh, a salary uh, even if they don't work you know it's called uh, the basic uh, basic income something uh, and uh, a lot of them are against it because they're kind of you know old school people with a old uh, state of mind you know people have to work uh, to and to deserve uh, money and also they're against it because if you earn a basic income you can become rich and a lot of them have uh, social mobility in mind rather than uh, you know uh, 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 frights of poorness a lot of them are not really afraid of becoming poor they are not afraid of becoming homeless they're afraid of uh, earning the same amount of money their whole life and not being able to you know uh, go up the stairs of, of uh, social um, finances or you know you get what I mean um, and yeah the stagnation has been a, a big uh, thing that they've uh, complained about a lot of them want to go up uh, 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 another president that was elected about 10 years ago Nicolas Sarkozy uh, made uh, the central point of his campaign um, allowing people to do more uh, how do you say extra work hours you know uh, and uh, so they they could earn more money 
and uh, a lot of people have voted uh, for him because of that, because they wanted to, you know, uh, also you know, uh, again give themselves the means to become rich through hard work. Um, and yeah, of course, it's you know, it's less and less like that. Not that he's not that it uh, has been like that, but there's also there's also because there's more. I gotta keep going on because there's more. There's also the problems of um, the retirement pensions. That also has been a problem, uh, and a lot of people might not realize how uh, how bad it is, because especially in the in the U.S., the largest age group uh, is millennials, like me. But here in France, the largest age group are baby boomers, just like in most of Europe. And uh, because of that, uh, people who are my age uh, or a, a little older, Generation X, uh, have been paying a lot of taxes for uh, the, the old people. And there's no resentment against uh, the old people, but I remember when I was in high school, every kid in my class talked all the time about retirement pensions. We chatted. It was one of the biggest conversation um, things uh, when I was in high school uh, with my classmates. It was, when we will be old, will uh, retirement pensions still exist? And most of us had a really grim outlook on that. Uh, we thought that it was pointless to pay taxes because when we were going to be old, there, there wasn't going to be uh, enough uh, money to pay our retirement pensions. And uh, we, we had kind of a... This kind of fueled the resentments that a lot of millennials have against boomers uh, here. And um, now it's still kind of a thing. Even if in the Yellow Vest movement there are some retired people, but they're... Yeah, most, of, most people are people who are around 40 years old, 40... 50 years old. Um, there are not a lot of young people and there are not a lot of really old people. Uh, even if there are some young people, there are some old people, there are some people who are kind of poorer than uh, uh, than middle class and there are people who are rich and educated. It's a movement that, you know, is complicated and complex. I don't know how it's gonna go on. I don't know if they're gonna obtain their referendum thing. Uh, the government already had made some, um, some you know, concessions to them to try to appease them. Uh, they have augmented the the subsidies on clean uh, green cars. They have augmented uh, what what was it? Um, Oh no, they've, they've promised uh, to lower the taxes on oil, um, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's small things mostly because um, Emmanuel Macron said that he doesn't want to back down. And uh, it's, he's not the first president to say that, but if you, if you uh, look at the past uh, years, there's always been a revolt against every president we had. Last time, it was the revolt of the Red Beanies. Uh, the Red Beanies were a people who were protesting against uh, taxes again, uh, and uh, these taxes were supposed to pay for uh, cleaner energy, you know, uh, solar panels and, and better recycling, you know. And uh, there's been a, 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 a tax like this that has been proposed on, in 2013, where uh, when the government was a socialist, and uh, yeah, there's been um, there's been a huge backlash against it because uh, oh shit, because yeah, um, not a lot of people are really eco-friendly here, and there's a kind of a resentment against people who care about the environment because they there's a general feeling that they're bad for uh, people's wallets and. Uh, yeah, it's a really short-sighted mentality, sadly, but uh, it's this is this country is not a country that is kind to to science and uh, in general and, and technology, and 
it's it's like that. Sometimes it makes me a kind of ashamed to be French, to see uh, the the amount of people who don't give a shit and who don't believe uh, in science and, and doctors and and uh, technology and are are really uh, skeptic about this. Uh, skepticism is great uh, in 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 healthy doses. It's important. It's uh, one of the most important things of a healthy mind. But when you're skeptic of everything, you're just a fool and, and kind of a moron, sadly. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of people who lack uh, moderation, in my opinion. And that's why they sound so emotional. It's a lot of emotion trumps reason, this uh, yellow vest thing. Uh, that's why they sound like the nagging wife in a in a sitcom, like I said in the beginning, because they're they're very they're very emotional people, uh, and uh, that's that's why they let their their anger speak for 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 them, and why they they say stuff like, um, you know, um, we 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 want to be listened to we want to be loved we want to be uh, we want to dream a lot of people a lot of people in the yellow vest movement said, say that they want to dream that uh, their life is too bleak and they want to dream again uh, they don't want to be you know rational or or um, think about things um, in a in, in a rational way, they want to be unreasonable and, and you know, be able to spend all their money on, on expensive stuff uh, that they see on TV in ads. Uh, some people on, in the far right have been talking about uh, advertisement harassment, who, pu who push people to get themselves into debt uh, because they feel uh, obligated to buy things that they cannot afford. And uh, it has been something that has been talked about for a long time now. Uh, and uh, it's not untrue. It's not 100% untrue. There's uh, a lot of people are, are sold by the government and by the, the media. Uh, a life that uh, is, you know, said to be better and if they have a, a big TV and a leather couch and a, 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 a fast car they, they'll be happy and a lot of people buy into that and it's um, it's reason why a lot of people are, are, are in debt right now there's a huge problem of debt um, because people um, have you know bought uh, big TVs and, and fast cars and leather couches with money that they didn't have and they spent more than they could afford. I know that it's a very French thing, and I know that because I'm, I'm guilty of that too. Um, I, I also, I'm in debt because I spend more than I can afford. Um, and my my uh, vice is, is food. I love to order food on Uber Eats, and uh, I do it too often. And yeah, I've, I've put myself in debt because of shiny, burgers that look nice on the app and I know so many people here who have this problem so many uh, and it's one of the reasons uh, it's one of the the fuels of the the, the yellow vests uh, fire so I think I've said everything really uh, thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you loved it, please subscribe. If you have any questions, any criticism, if you want to talk about it, use the comments. They're, they are here for that. I will try to answer everyone, just as, like I always do. And if you really like this and want me to continue making videos like this one in the best possible conditions, please consider a subscription to my Patreon. It would really help, especially at the moment where I have kind of have a hole in my bank account uh, because of various things, mostly my fault, but you know. Um, <sighs> but yeah, things are not so bad as most people think they are. And that will be the subject of another video, not this one. Uh, thanks for watching anyway, and uh, see y'all really soon. Peace.